Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm from England and today um, we've got a sunny day in Gloucester so I'm really excited about it. I'm loving these sunny days, I wish it never stops. Um, and today we will be looking at another vocabulary session. We have to explain the meaning and make sentences with five words. So our five words for the day are actually D words again, but this time we have deduction, deed, defect, defend, and then we have defensive. So let's start off with Arush. Arush, can you please first introduce yourself, then tell us a bit about your day and move on to today's topic. Yes, ma'am, that's just... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, I'm Arush Kumar. I study in class six F. My school name is Delhi Public School, Nagasaki, Kolkata. And my favorite hobbies are playing, singing, and dancing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so what have you done uh, today? What have you been doing? Mm, yes, ma'am. Today, first, I woke up in the morning at nine o'clock. Then I went to shower, then I came back. Mm -hmm. I was playing for some time, then I went to the temple with my mother. And then I when I came back, then I joined 6 to 7 30 online classes. Yeah. Then I went to, sorry, 7 o'clock classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to say these wrong things. Uh, I don't know, I used to not notice. Well, let's put, yeah. put it this way. I wouldn't know if you say the wrong time because I am on a different time zone. So I would need to work it out. And I trust you with the time. <laughs> so I don't know. No, ma'am, because that in India, like it is right now 7 35 p.m. And, and I think so. You, you all live in the United States, right? United Kingdom. No, 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 not that far. Not that far on the other side. Um, so yes, so it's three o'clock in the afternoon, the afternoon. Um, in our time. Um, so Ooh. every time you exactly. So there's a bit of a difference. Um, uh, so that's why I said I said I wouldn't know because I would. Need I to wanted to ask that uh, USA is very uh, like nearer to your country, right? Well, yeah. Well, yes, I suppose, but the world is round. Um, so, um, so, so I, I, I don't, I don't know exactly. I mean, if I had to, if I had to tell you from your point where you are to the US, are you closer to the US than I am? I think I am closer from my idea of the map of the world, but I don't, I, I don't, I don't I know for a hundred, like a, I'm not a hundred percent sure about it. Okay. I found out after this class. Yes, ma'am. So then I joined your class now. Um yeah, yes. So first of all, can you do me a favor and unmute uh Raj Shri because she's Ma'am, I have I have sent her the ask to unmute two or three times. And uh, okay. the, the security we to check. Okay. Yes, ma'am. People can unmute themselves. Okay, thank you very much for arranging that, Arush. So, Arush, um, yes, you can start with your with your first vocabulary word. Tell me the meaning and give me a sentence. Ma'am, the first word is like a uh, deduction, right? The first word is deduction. deduction. Yes. Ma'am, it is a noun and it means the action of deducting or subtracting something. Very good. Okay. And uh, your sentence? Uh, wait, man. Ma'am, this will be fine. Uh... The amount will be subject to directions for tax. Mm -hmm. And on second one, I would say uh, 
they also face a 10 point reduction with an administration looming. Okay, very good. Okay, what is your next word? Which word are, are you going to do next? Ma'am, uh, if I say noun, it, it means uh, an action that is performed intentionally or consciously. And a verb, uh, like it is in North American, it means convey or convey or transfer property or rights by legal deed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a type of, it's a type of contract in a way. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, and... So the sentences are that deeds in the dolomites and the second one is uh, there was no fog around the conscial conscial his dark deeds can you repeat your sentences please a bit clearer oh uh, yes ma'am dirty deeds wait a second uh, yes ma'am dirty deeds in the dolomites dolomites Yes, ma'am. And the second Are one these is your oh. sentences, Arush? Did you make up these sentences? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, mm. like only one, only one, uh, this one, like mm. dirty deeds in the Dolomites. Mm. I just found on Google. And the second one, uh, it was, there was no fault. Um, so what's the second one? What's the second sentence? There was no fault around the conscious. His dark deeds. Dark deeds. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if I were you, um, so when we look at the deed as a, as a meaning, um, like you said, um, he he intentionally or consciously. So that his dark deeds. <clears throat> he had. <coughs> excuse me. He had no conscience about his dark deeds. That's good. And you, but you didn't say about the actual um, legal document. Um, for example, they transferred the, they gave, the, they, they signed the deed over to the new house owner, for example, to talk about a legal document. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Next word. I'm defective. I mean, defect, uh, uh, right now, uh, when I saw, when I was researching on Google, uh, actually, I think so. What is this? Wait, I had copied and kept because I, I was confused. Wait, is this a pronunciation or what? I could not understand because it looks like uh, slang is written on it. So, what's the defect? Um, yes, ma'am. Defect means a shortcoming, imperfection, or lack. Mm -hmm. And ma'am, it means a... For that, uh, I need sentences. Uh, so, the first sentence is... Um, Ma'am, uh, this uh, is this the correct one? The parents have a test to see if a genetic defect caused the deaths. Okay. I don't think one? this is your work, but okay. Uh, Ma'am, the second one was very creepy, kind of. Mm. Uh, Aru, she didn't make these sentences. Mm, yes, now I know one sentence, which is um, um like uh, my laptop got defect because it has some, it had some harmful viruses. Okay, so mm, my laptop has a defect. Okay, a okay. defect is an imperfection. Yes, okay. Okay. Um, next word, Arush. Um, yes, ma'am. Defend. Is, uh, defend. Uh, ma'am, defend is a verb and it means a resistant attack made on 
someone something protect from harm or danger uh -huh. this one is very easy uh The monster defend. Uh, the monster defend the enemies. Is this the correct one? The monster defended the enemies. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So there you used defend as the verb to defend. Okay, to resist an attack. Okay. You can also use the verb to defend as in a lawsuit. Okay, so the lawyer defended me in court. Okay. Okay. Okay, and now the last word that you have to do, Arush. Defensive. Defensive. Yes. Uh, ma'am, uh, it is an adjective and it means used or intended, intended to defend or protect. Uh -huh. Okay. For example, defensive. Defensive could also be an adjective about someone's character. When someone is defensive, they are quite thin-skinned or overly sensitive. Okay. Mom, it means if I say a sentence. It would be it is it is this approach that makes our uh it is this approach that makes other uh, defensive sides of the past fail into insignificant islands. Can you give me a sentence of your own, please, Arush? Because you've given me all the sentences of someone else today. Can you give me a sentence about defensive, please? Um, defensive. Yes, please. Um, Ma'am, my mobile is defensive. No. Defensive. Come on. Can you give me a sentence for defensive, Arush? Arush, I want you to do your work tomorrow, your own work, okay? Because you did your work for two days and then you came back and you did the same thing that you were doing previously, which is go back to copying work. Do you understand? Yes? Yes. Okay, so defensive, for example, he acted in a defensive manner. Okay? Oh, come on. That's one. And then another one would be, you told me my mobile phone is defensive. You don't do that, okay? Your mobile phone is not defensive, okay? Your mobile phone has no character. It doesn't talk, okay? But... My mobile phone has some defensive, defensive software, okay? My mobile phone has defensive software, okay? That, yes. I have an idea. Uh, at the end, I would tell the sentence mm. if I could. Okay, good. Okay, thank you very much, Arush. Let's move on to Rajshree. Hello, Rajshree. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, Can you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day, please? Yeah, I'm Rajshri from Bihar. I'm working with NCW and the test. So my day was the normal because uh, today's Tuesday. So it's my visiting day, but uh, uh, I am working from home. That's why I was, I counseled the persons and attended the meeting in the office and everything. Yeah. And uh, my day was normal, and uh, I have one problem. I mm, blood test. I give the blood for the testing, 
uh, due to some reasons. Yeah, because the doctor said for the uh, typhoid or anything. That's why I don't okay. give the blood for the blood test. Yeah, but mm, I'm okay. I don't have any problem Good. because. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they gave mm, mm, they gave the uh, medicines for the treatment. So now I'm okay. And uh, mm, the words are the phrase. Yeah. So the deduction. First word is a deduction. Uh, deduction is a noun word. And uh, in India, in India, the landlords uh, they provide the lands for the to the farmers for the farming. And uh, after the um, after the uh, the crops well growing and um, if if they are in profit, the landlords are in profits. They deducted the money, the the their hard work. Their their so they don't have any care of the, their hard work. Their the sweating or anything else. They don't want to um, think for all them. So um, not providing the sufficient money for their hard work. So first sentence is for me, and the second one is like sometimes the private companies uh, they are not providing the sufficient salary. They deduct they deduct the salary uh, deduction from their salary uh, the money. So uh, that is not good for them. But they don't have any proper and logical reason. But um, it's a norms. And uh, they have their own choice, so they deduction the amount. Yeah. And for more sentence, yeah, they deduct the um, amount. Yeah. And uh, one more sentence before the e-banking, the facilities of the e-banking in India, uh, when the banks are doing like uh, handwritten the passbooks and everything, so that time also uh, they deducted the money. Um, uh, without any reason, without any reason, because uh, when I was in my school, uh, there was a corporative bank. I don't know the full name of the bank, the corporative bank, but I don't have the uh, any any account on them. But 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 um, I saw the villagers or uh, uh, so many people. Um, they deducted without any reason the money. So that was not good for for us or the, for the people or the for, for for the poor people actually. So yeah, yeah. Okay, good, um, good explanation. Is, good explanation. But there's also another meaning to deduction. Do you know it? Do you know the other deduction? Mm -hmm. Another meaning. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, deduction. So yeah, deduction. one sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one one sentence. I was making. Uh, I I made. But uh, I think that was not proper. That's why I, I didn't, uh, yeah. You didn't um, give it, that's fine, that's fine. So deduction could also mean that you come to, to a conclusion. So my deductions um, from, my, my deductions from the news, for example, are the following. Okay, so what to deduce something is to conclude some to come to a conclusion to hypothesize to make your own deductions. Yeah. Okay, so I watch and, the news and then I make my own deductions, for example. Yeah, and uh, in India, I don't know the another country, but the, in India, the mother always uh, deducted their own food and they provide the um, sufficient food for, to their family. Uh huh. Okay, but that's yeah. sacrificing that's again to reduce that. That's sacrificing. Yes. Okay. 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 Sacrificing so, like that de deduction is also uh, considered as a you know, sacrificing anything. Um, rather than sacrificing, it's about subtraction and removal. Um, yeah. it's not, yeah. not real sacrifice in it. Like it has to do with money removal, subtraction. Um, for example, tax deduction. Um, but then there's also deduction used um, in reference to general law principle. So to make an assumption or an inference or a conclusion, that's also a deduction. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Good. next word is the yeah. deed. Yeah. Deed. deed yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. The deed word is the noun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, something that you do and uh, something, whatever you want to do. Uh, first meaning and the second is an, an action yeah an action for doing anything like for the stunts and for the uh, 
good uh, good uh, good action or the bad action yeah good yeah and uh, the second meaning is like deed is like a legal document that shows you that you it's your own house and your own flat or your own anything so the legal documents actually of the their own ha- house yeah and uh, the the um, sentence is for the uh, yeah the first meaning like an action the murder is a foul deed mm-hmm. yeah any any criminal activities is a deed Okay. Deed, deed for the administration, yeah, because they will they provide the punishment to everyone, yeah. Those who are doing the deed, yeah. and uh, the another meaning of the deed is the my maternal grandparents, because in India uh, always the parents thinking I don't know it's a rule regulation I don't know. but uh, in in the constitution of india there is a no uh, though n- nothing figuring out the like uh, the parents only provide the uh, lands their their jewelries everything to their son not to their daughters but in 2005 the all the things are changed because the government um, provides the legal rights to the daughters the women for um, receiving the things the house the homes the lands and the jewelries from their parents also okay okay uh, so i don't have any uncle from my maternal parents that's why my maternal grandparents uh, before uh, before the um, before sorry wait my maternal grandmother decided to uh, deed the house over the daughters because my mother uh, she is only two sisters two two siblings that's why before she died so they they mentioned their name um, before their illness and before the um, that they that yeah yeah uh, okay. the deed is over the deed is over and the second is the defect yeah defect. it's a noun yeah defect it's a noun yeah and uh, defect yeah the um, so many companies nowadays uh, like the um, i don't know the amazon the flipkart because i um, before sometimes uh, i think weekends yeah with weekends on weekends i visited the showroom of the titan showroom so um, they said if you are purchasing from the online uh, they are not providing the proper they are not providing the proper proper uh, the wrist watches and anything uh, whatever you want to purchase because it's a duplicate items and anything from uh, their company so you have to purchase from the um, shop or uh, offline not from the online okay because okay. they provide the highest discount and the defective defective items big defective, big defective items. items okay very good they yeah. sell items that have a defect okay good yeah and uh, before that my uh, before uh, two months ago yeah uh, my brother elder brother he received oh, yeah. one gift from the he received uh, gift from the online company from their food on their food items actually he purchased the food items of uh, online the five on the rupees 500 and he got to 145 gift from the company so uh, yeah the gift from the company yeah so my my father said like the old old um, old expired things expired products beauty products or anything with new level with new uh, branch okay so um, the company is uh, gifting gifting the uh, gifting to the persons on anything for um, selling the things the expiry items and anything yeah yeah Good. and uh, sometimes buy one get one the gift items so that is also not good for the um, not good for us yeah uh, if you if you talk about the metals the jewelry whatever the platinum the gold the silver uh, they never provide any any gift items or anything because uh, that is not the uh, that is not exchange and the expiry from and the next word is different because the time is very less so the different word it's different is the verb yeah uh, verb different like 
protect someone and preserve anything. Yeah, preserve anything. Like in India, we we always make the pickles, mango pickles, lemon pickles. So we preserve uh, with we preserve them with the salt and the uh, spices, spices of India. Yeah. So that is the um, one sentence of the preservation, like preserve anything. And the second different is like, uh, um, I don't know the another country, but in India, it's very, very common for everyone, especially in the village. Uh, you, are, uh, you are always, you are always depend on anyone. Like uh, if you- Always uh, defend others, you always defend others. No, 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 no. Depend on others. They defend you. Ah, okay. So they time. defend you. Okay. You are defended by others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a small boy, like younger, younger sibling. They, uh, if the the girl, if the uh, elder sister is going for the market, then the younger brother, younger brother go with. Her because her. they they defend they defend the young uh, elder daughter elder girl actually elder sibling so that is not good for me it's a society norms it's a society thinking actually not for me but uh, everyone like like the the girl is never be a defend uh, you should be always you should be wait 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 you should always be uh, you should always be uh, be depend on any men or any any support system you should always okay. for for yeah for different for different yeah, for different yeah you should always uh, okay good yeah actually the word are very similar na it's the only the uh, single word f and p both the spelling and the meaning little bit the, yes uh, yeah. yeah so the different is over and the last word is the defensive it's a noun yeah noun and uh, defensive word the second meaning of the defensive is like protect someone yeah protect uh, or protect anything yeah uh, so the judo karate judo karate is defensive for the everyone though who are human being, it's a very uh, important, like human being, like if you are men, women, or any gender, any gender. So um, you have to um, learn the judo karate for defensive, yeah? Defensive from uh, anything, anything. You have yeah? to be defensive. From the, from the criminals or the um, street vendors or anything, mm -hmm. yeah? So defensive. So defensive, that, that's not exactly how you would use it. Um, so you have to be defensive against, to be defensive yeah, sorry, sorry. against crimi criminals. No, no, yeah, that's okay. Defensive against against defensive. Criminals. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay, you have yeah, to be yeah. defensive or act in a defensive way or be defensive against criminals. Okay, yeah, defensive, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I said, could also be if you're overly sensitive or thin skinned. Um, so you tell someone something, criticism, and they are overly sensitive about it. They get defensive. That's another That's thing. Okay. And one thing I want to add on uh, for this topic, uh, for this uh, word, actually, the animals also defensive against the uh, 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 defensive for their own self. Yes. Because they they don't have they they only they only they can't speak in front of anyone. They just show their emotions. They have they are in pain and anything. Because the human being they never think for them for their emotions. They like uh, bite them. They beat any kind anywhere. So that is not for the human. Not as considered as a human being and the human humanity. That is not good for anyone. So I have a simple and a single, uh, single thought for everyone. Please protect them. Uh, they are very much sensitive. So you have to protect them. You have to. Protect them. Very good. A wonderful yeah. thought to end on. Yeah. Um, guys, well done on today's words. Um, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow, and I hope you have a lovely evening. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Thank you, Christine. Goodbye.